Guys, Aryaman and I'm back. Today we'll learn some very important string functions. So first we'll start by getting to know the length of the string. So I hope you remember what is a string. A string is a is a series of either numbers, digits, or letters, or or anything you know, or even special symbols. So that's called a string. Okay. So I hope you remember that. So let's open idle first. So there we go with idle. Okay, so now we have idle here, and um, hmm. okay, so, so let's see. I want to type something, okay? So, you know, type, type, okay? So, hmm, so, so, so let's say I, I write a equals in quotes, uh, Alexander, Alex. Uh, Alexander, okay, so Alexander. So I want to know the lengths. I mean, how many letters are here, okay? So this is what I'll. So this is the the, the command. So print. Sorry, print. Lengths. And a. Okay, so you close that bracket and put a double bracket as well. Nine. Nine. You can see that. Okay, so that's because. A L E X A N D E R. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is correct, right? Okay, yeah. So that's how you get to know the lengths of something. So let's say I want to capitalize everything there, okay? So um but this is what I'll do, okay? So I'll do print okay. Um, okay, so wait, I've better method. Let's do this. Okay, so let's say I have a equals again Alexander. Okay, so Alexander Alexander So if I want to capitalize everything you have to mention here with this command called upper in bracket um, To the uppercase so you can see this Return a copy of the string converted to the uppercase. So that's what happens. So all so everything go, goes to the up, upper case. So like this, see. Return simple, then print it. Print a. So that Alexander all caps here only here is half half small and a little bit of cap. So you can see that Alexander all caps. So that's one command as well. And there's something else also very interesting. So let's say I want to make everything uh, like like as usual. Like the first letter is capital, the next letters are small. Then after the full stop, the next letter is capital. So like that. So I can do like this. So again, a equals. So I'll write some a bit wrong. Okay. So Alex. So let's write a l e x a n d e r. Okay, so let's say I wrote it like that. Okay, so now let's put the dot and capitalize. Capitalize. Okay, I capitalize. Sorry, I'm just, you should add that small number. So capitalize. Capitalize. It's a Z, remember, not the other spelling of S. Capitalize. And the, the bracket, so you can see it's in a capitalized version of the string. So that's it. So and the bracket's close. So now let's say I'll do print. Day, let's see what happens. So, Alexander, so like it's perfectly as you sh should write. And though I wrote capital N D R, the small a, it changed everything to its normal how is it how it is written in reality. So, that's one special thing to go. And then, <clears throat> let's say I want to split it, okay, like. I want to first print Alex and then Andrew. Okay, so that's like I, I can do it right. So let me show you how to do it. Now I'll put x1 equals a and then a dot 
there's the command remember split it a command split and open the brackets and write here Alex Alex remember to put the double quotes always it's very, it's very interesting very important rather sorry. so Alex okay so that's the command then then let's print it and print x1 print x1 oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. print print x1 simple so let's have a look so you can see that so that's Alex I wanted to split it so the Alex w went off and Andrew came here look at that that's interesting okay so yeah <clears throat> that's another interesting thing and let's say I want to write uh, well like I want to separate the X and keep the L and the ender so this is how you do it so first write a uh, okay we have the command already no need to rewrite it so then put X2 equals okay so here you, here's the important step a dot split the usual command but here I'll just mention X so it splits the other two naturally okay so split X sorry you know what that happened because I forgot the double quotes yeah so let me just rewrite it sorry I'm very sorry yeah so X2 equals a dot split and remember the double quotes the double quotes X and the cross the brackets next one and let's print it okay so so that L I got the X supposed to be here and under so that's simple as that okay so it's quite easy it's not as difficult as it sounds so now let me show you the next speciality about this so now supposing I want to split this uh, a sentence okay so like a sentence so a equals I am I am going home okay so it's equals I'm going home okay and let's put y1 equals so this is how you want to do it right so let's do it so now I want to split both the eyes okay like this eye and this eye which means it'll become I so it'll become am go ing home okay so let's see how to do that okay so this is how you do it y1 equals a dot split just put the i in there in the, in the bracket okay so split i as simple as that is now you'll see something very interesting you'll see that only this will separate let's have a look at it so that it's not defined because the quotes yet again so let me just write that one one equals a dot split split the 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 double quotes remember the double quotes always mm -hmm. so the, the, the double quotes x so a close the bracket and let's print it print x print y1 okay so let's print y1 so you can just saw that i am going home you know what that happened because i did not mention the i i put the a here you notice that so now let's try with the i okay so let's try with the i i okay so now let's print print y1 okay let's just change okay print y1 okay so that I am go ing 
home. You know why this didn't change? Because that's a capital I. So let's say I want to change both the O's, okay? So I'll show you how to do that as well. So it's basically the same command. So let me post it. Um, let me. Okay, so let me. Okay, is that interesting? Okay, okay. Okay, so now let's put the next command, okay? So it goes like this. S1, some, some name equals A dot split, that's a usual command as usual. And now I'll put the O in the brackets. Split O, okay? So, okay, again, I forgot the double quotes, I'm really sorry. You gotta get it in habit. So S1 equals A dot split bracket and double quotes, double quotes, double quotes, and O. Okay, so now let's print that thing. So that. So it says I am G O is supposed to be here. Ing ha the O is supposed to be here. Um mm. so you can see that. So that's quite an interesting thing there, right? Okay, so yeah. Yeah. That's one very important and interesting as well. So now I'll show you something rather interesting. So um, let's say I want to input something, okay? So like this. So I want to. So this is called this is known as string formatting. So let's say I want to show you something to mix a string with another string. So basically, I will write a sentence like "I am home." And then I'll I'll input the, the going and it'll become I'm going home. So let's get started. So I'll write um let's say I write um my best friend my 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 best okay okay my best is my best is sorry my best friend is and I close the brackets. Remember, before closing the brackets, put the curly brackets so that the word which we want to add can fit in these two brackets. If there is no place to fit, it won't fit. So dot and listen to the command properly. So, the, so it is format, format. So this is known as string formatting. So format and whatever word you want to insert. Let's say I want to insert lion. The lion. Okay, so. And this is what I do double quotes the lion okay the lion um yeah so you can see that's the lion okay so now I'll just print a and you'll see what will happen print print a so my best friend is the lion so that's quite an interesting thing you can add stuff here yeah so it's called known as string formatting and let's say I want to add many strings, okay? So this is how you do it. So a1. So let's say I want to do so a equals uh, a equals lion. Remember the double quote always. F equals no uh, a equals lion. S equals uh, leopard and D D equals D equals parrot. Okay, so let's see. I want to add these three. So this is what I'll do. Okay, so I'll write print. There's the printing command. Print the brackets open and put the curly brackets for line to enter space. Line to enter, leopard to enter, and and you can you can also insert and and here the pad will enter, and then our best friends. Okay, so our best friends. Our best friends. Okay, so our best friends are full stop. Okay, and then close the brackets. So look, why 
did that not happen? Well, obviously it won't happen when I forget the main command. So this will do it. Print. Okay, so print. I will do, do that. Print. Print. My best friends. Dot format. Format it. And you have to insert what values you want here, right? Like what do you want here? What do you want here? What do you want here? So you have to put them in respective order. So whatever you put here will enter here. Second term will enter here and the third thing will enter here. Okay, so let's let me first write a Okay, so let me insert that So here you don't need to put the brackets. It's because I have already mentioned the value I've already mentioned this value a here Right, so like that so format a s and D for my ASD. Okay, format is that's as simple as that. Now, okay, let's just put that away for the moment mm -hmm. and close the bracket. So that lion, leopard, and parrot are best friends. So if you want the, the comma here, you can, you can always put a comma here. Okay, so yeah, so that's another thing known as. Remember the term, it's very important, string formatting, okay, so string formatting, okay, so that's it, that's one very interesting thing. So now, let's say I want to do something called um, index-based string formatting, so using index in the format function, that's what we will do, so let me show you an example, so I'll go print, I'll open the bracket. <laughs> And, and, goodbye, Siri. I don't know what you mean by... Okay, so never mind, let's see, sorry. So, print. So you can print whatever you want here. Okay, so, let it just insert the terms. Print. Um, and let's say I want to do one. Okay, so print one. Then uh, I'll do two. And let's say I want to print three. So let's I want to put three, okay? So that's three, okay? So I'll close the brackets now, as usual. Uh, just before putting the, the quotes, I'll close the brackets and I'll put the dot and the format, format, and I'll insert here whatever I want to do, insert. So I'll insert lion. So lion, um, parrot, let's just put the old parrot and leopard and leopard okay so that's the three close the brackets mm -hmm. and the end of print brackets oh i'm sorry i'm sorry you should never put that one there print and the brackets close you can see that one entire black and okay so Let's say I want to insert this is okay. So print one to three. So it'll just show lion leopard thing right now. So let me insert here. And okay. And you can you can always add, add extra values. Our our friends, okay. So friends, okay, so friends. So let's print it. So so you saw that? Parrot leopard and friends. Why? Because obviously, parrot, parrot, leopard, and friends. Where did that happen? Because all I did was parrot, leopard, and friends. Because the one is supposed to be the lion. Okay. So the, 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 that's the line which will obviously not come in the first place, okay? Yeah, so that's one thing to remember. And, okay, that was called index-based string formatting, okay? So, yeah, so I think that that's for today. I'll teach you some more programming in my next video, okay? So thank you very much, and come back soon. Goodbye.